We are in the midst of Hispanic Heritage Month and we are celebrating the best way possible with some yummy food. Mm -hmm. Our next guest started his own catering business in Miami when he was just 19 years old and that led to becoming a finalist on the TV show Food Network Star and Star Salvation. He was also featured on Chopped. What hasn't he done? Chef Chris Valdez is now a cookbook author and the host of Que Delicioso on the Roku channel. He's joining us now in the studio. Chris Valdez, welcome to New York Living. I'm so excited to be here. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. If you started when he was 19, how I old are you? I mean, gosh. 19 and a half? You don't yeah, look exactly. much older than 19. Oh, I'm so old. I'm 32. <laughs> oh. No. Mm. You know what? Please. It's age is just a number. And you know That's what? Right. You need to make sure that you're young and you're feeling yourself and what's inside is what matters the most. And how do you do that? With some good food. Yummy. Yeah. I'm here for all of this. So you have a lot going on this month and next. You're participating in the New York City Wine and Food Festival? Yes, and I'm super what? excited. Mm. Tell us about it. Well, it's a, it's an organization um, it, that's going to raise all this money with the one thing that we all have in common, which is food, mm -hmm. um, by doing all different types of events around the city, and then all of the proceeds go to uh, God's We Deliver, which is yeah. an amazing organization yeah. that has done some amazing stuff here in New York City uh, and promotes, uh, you know, health and, and whatnot for everyone around. So, super hey, so excited. Have you ever been to the Wine and Food Festival? Yes, I have. And? At, well, as, as a, a, you know, a reporter. So I didn't get to really partake in everything. Well, now he's bringing now it to Now it's like us. it's <laughs> It brings a tear to my eye. You yeah. know, if you remember what you did the last Wine and Food Festival, you didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. I know. So this is, you're we're right, going right. to make so good. I'm so excited. But the fact that you're involved shows that you are big time that's right you're huge and so we're excited to see what you brought us today yeah. well so we're gonna celebrate some Hispanic heritage and what better way than to start your morning that with Hispanic food so we're gonna start with a typical uh, breakfast we have some croquetas but of course I don't like making anything typical so I made my serrano ham and gorgonzola cheese croquetas with guava sauce so you have the ooey gooey you have the saltiness of the ham May we? and then I know, you we have both. and I'm then like, you have the can guava I try it? then oh yeah go goodness. for it so, and then something else that we have is um, our empanadas, and um, how's that? Delicious. Oh my goodness. And you have to make sure you get some of that the guava whole, sauce. I'm Stop trying to, I'm trying to sauce. pace myself here. So, oh, I know. Uh, it'll, it'll be mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. If you want something on the healthier side, I have these guava and cheese fried empanadas, mm -hmm. and healthier for me healthier at least. Side. But this is okay. something that um, usually when my brother comes, he's been losing weight and he's starting to look better than me. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, would you like some guava and cheese empanadas? So uh, this is the, the, the perfect meal to make, and it's made with three ingredients. So you could use, and this one you could totally cheat on, by using store-bought uh, dough, and then okay. you just cut one slice of the cream cheese, okay. and then you do one slice of the guava paste, and then you do a little uh, fork it method. So when you fold it mm. in half, and you can start trying it if you'd like. I thought you'd never ask. And then oh, okay. you fold it in Take half it. like this, and you close it. Oh, like a little envelope. Mm-hmm, like a little envelope, I yeah. like that. And this is great practice for Christmas time now that it's coming. Mmm, mm, yummy. Mm. And this is something typical that we have for breakfast, for snack, uh, for dinner. Uh, mm. During the holidays, it's very popular. So we close it like this, and then we just press down, and we fry it. It's super easy to make. So How many of those do you think you've made in your lifetime? Oh, too many. But uh, <laughs> I think I've had more <laughs> in my belly than what right. I've made. Mm -hmm. And my mom, like every now and then, if we're having an off day or something, she'll just bring out a tray of these. And that's how, oh. that's how we like starting the morning in our oh. household. Uh, a favorite here is the ropa vieja. So it translates into shredded uh, clothing yeah. uh, or old clothing. Old clothing. Old, old shredded clothing. clothing. So, yeah. um, but it, it doesn't taste like old clothing. And <laughs> I good, hope not. Good for us. Typically, yes. we serve it with some rice and some maduros. But um, at my house, I usually like people standing up when we're doing little parties. So I get these little cocktail oh my glasses. Oh, my I love that idea. And I add the ropa vieja, the rice, the maduro. But just to, to make it different than your typical meal, I put a little hint of my signature garlic aioli sauce. On top. And it's oh just the most beautiful and Hazel, little portable. You know what I love about this idea is that there's a tendency to overeat right away. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get to this, there's no room for dessert, That's right. nothing, right? So this is like one serving mm -hmm. per person and you can get to it all. Well, and you can be social. 
You yes. can walk oh, around cheers. it. Cheers. cheers. Look at that. And you know, this idea, actually, I cheers. started it oh. in my catering company cheers. because people are like, you know, we don't want something formal. We don't want to overeat. Mm -hmm. What's in between? So I'm like, we start with some hors d'oeuvres, and then this is something that's, you know, in between. I really it's not too this heavy. Idea. It's portable. You Do don't you mind if down. I steal this idea? I might steal oh, you, it could, you could take it. It's okay. yours. I feel like this should we happen. We have nothing to eat it with, so unfortunately. Well, uh, well there is there is this fork. You know, well, I'm going to use my little. Go ahead. I'm listening. Lose your little bit. Use them. Okay, you also have, after the ropa vieja in its gorgeous little vessel. And it's still warm, by the way. Ceviche. We have some, uh, a, a shrimp ceviche here. <laughs> and um, this right here is, is heaven. Um, and, and look at that. Magic oh, of television. Like that, the oh, we yeah. have, there you go, see, can you shall you. find. Look at that. So we have uh, our shrimp ceviche, and we have some uh, toasted corn there, uh, which is also in Peru, is just enjoyed yeah. like this uh, as a little appetizer, um, which is going to add some texture to the whole Beautiful. thing. And um, I love blending in some ginger, some celery, some pepper, and then I use the, the liquid that I poached the shrimp in to add some of that shrimp in are in our sauce so it's just one of my favorite things and then the cilantro is going to uh, brighten up those flavors along with the peppers and the mm. onions and it's just delicious so if you want to try that it's right here i want to try all of the things this is an interesting presentation because normally when i've seen ceviche it's in like a glass mm -hmm. situation yes so you could serve it like this as a whole and a lot of people have this as a, mm -hmm. as a starter um, I also use the little same uh, cup method, and I'll use little shot glasses, yeah. and I'll put uh, a few pieces of shrimp with some of the liquid, and I'll mm -hmm. top it off with the with the um, the toasted corn mm. for the texture, and so it's just uh, it's amazing. And what I love about all of this is that it does wow. what food is supposed to do. It brings everyone together in the dinner table that's right. and talking about these flavors, and mm, uh, <laughs> and that's what it's about. Mm. I would do no talking at your party. Because I'd be eating the whole time. <laughs> That's good. That would be me too. Well, most of the time when people meet me at the at these food events, this is me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that's a good sign. What are you looking forward to the most for this this big event in New York? Um, what I look forward to the most is bringing my uh, Hispanic background to the city and just sharing more of it. I think especially especially in today's day, um, it's very important to remember where you came from yeah, and it's very important to continue yeah. to share that because where you come from and who you are is the most beautiful thing that you could offer anyone and everyone. So um, that's what I hope to do and that's ah. what I do every year for the past three years. Love it. Well, I'm so proud of you and your success and I think it's beautiful that you continue to share your heritage with others and keep that that culture and really like basically your family. That's right. Alive. Thank you so much. And I'd love to invite you both to the festival with me. And that way we could do it the right way. The right it's, way. Well, it's going to rain, so. It doesn't matter. It's indoors. Well, you know yeah. what? Oh, well, it's, it's, there's, and there's how do you a know it's going to rain? It's like three weeks away. Oh, and it's three it's, weeks away. Yeah. I think it was this weekend. <laughs> and no, no. there was a meet and greet as uh, well that oh, you're doing. Oh, and I'm doing a meet and greet as well. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. At the Williams Sonoma in Columbus Circle. Uh, that's Saturday the 14th okay. from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So, Fantastic. and I'll be cooking some of the meals that I'll be making uh, at the festival, and we'll also probably be drinking uh, together with the crowd until everyone kicks us out. And how, <laughs> and how proud your family must be yeah. of you, too. Um, you know, we grew up in a family restaurant, and we lost everything. Oh, my goodness. And it was like uh, restarting. So, throughout my journey, for me, it's been uh, a little thing of uh, just making my inner child happy while telling my family, you know, things weren't perfect, but look at us now. And I think Aww. that's what Change we try it. to do. And, you know, we just try... Uh, One foot in front of the other. To do what every, like, every Latino strives for, to be a better version of themselves and to make their family proud. Making us proud, too, ah. yes. in addition to your family. <laughs> this is delicious. Congratulations. Delicious. Thank you so much. we got to make our way over there. I know. We're going to tell everybody we know you. Okay. Oh, don't worry. I got you. <laughs> it's like going in with the DJ to a big party, That's right? That's right. Anyway, Thank you so much. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you so much.